Hello and welcome to another update video about ETH BTC. We sometimes cover ETH BTC in the relevant Bitcoin or Ethereum videos, sometimes separately. I think we're at a very, very important uh, turning point here, potentially. I'm, I'm watching for further signs that Ether is now starting to really outperform Bitcoin. Um, all the information you need about the Bitcoin chart and the Ethereum charts were already provided in the relevant videos. Now let's talk about ETH BTC. Very important pair because here, based on the structure we see here, we can determine if Ether or Bitcoin are likely outperforming, you know, uh, in, in the future. And at the moment, it's, I mean, it's important to recognize the bigger picture because we've really been in this downtrend since December 2021 and we've been watching for a reaction to the upside now for a while so far we couldn't confirm a low okay no confirmation no confirmation no confirmation here we've seen the first impulse and I'm going to zoom in into the um, detail at the moment in a minute but the idea is after an ABC structure to the downside and the C wave is technically full we could see the start of an uptrend and that would be this C wave to the upside, which if we zoom out further, based on the projections, could send ETH BTC to 25.8. Now that's pretty, pretty decent. Okay, now that's long term. Okay, that means Ether is catching up on Bitcoin's value yeah, quite substantially. Um, that's a quarter. Okay, so obviously this chart is measured in BTC. Okay, so at the moment it's 0.05. We could get to 0.25 based on this. Okay, if we really get there, we'll see it's a projection. Can always break, but it's looking decent. And if we zoom in, oops, we've been highlighting for a while that Ether has the potential, but it's only been a potential so far. What is important now is to recognize that we have seen five waves up from the January low into the January high. We've seen a three wave pullback in an ABC structure. Let me actually change that to white here. Into this support zone, we've had a reversal from the support zone, another five wave move up, what could be a wave one of the larger third wave. Yeah. just adjust that here so so what what could happen is that this is just a c wave rally um which would be less bullish but still bullish or a third wave which could then obviously subdivide further and so on i haven't shown the entire microstructure here first of all let's see if we can form another um five wave move up here from this support area so we had five waves up then another three wave pullback very deep into support uh, very deep into this support area. We talked about this support area in the ETH videos. And here it's the support area between 0.053 and 0.056. Now, what I can see based on the latest structure is another five wave move up from the lows. And now it's time for another correction. So as long as today's low is holding or the 0.053 level is holding, this could now be in the making. And this is huge potential. Mm, to confirm it, we need to see a break above this wave one high at 0.06. They would also take it above the descending trend line and would be quite bullish. And then we could, you know, it, it could be sent higher. So that's interesting because we have a 1-2, one, 1-2 two, one, two setup and it is in the process of forming possibly another small 1-2 setup. This is another possible 5-wave move with a tiny 1-2, a 3, a 4 and... Um, yeah, I mean, wave five could still be unfolding or wave four was a running flat. That's possible. And now we have a five wave move up and it could subdivide as follows. One, two, three, four, five, like this. But to really determine the levels, I need now the wave two pullback. Okay, so after these initial five waves to the upside have formed, I now need to see the wave two pullback then I can calculate a target here for these sub waves. But if we just take circle wave one and circle wave two, what would be the target for circle wave three? Oops, didn't want to do that, one second. 
And again, we're looking at ideally the 1.38 extension as a first target, can always go a bit higher. That's 0 0.0667. Yeah, this is the ideal first target for this wave three. Again, can always go higher. Third of third, typically the one to one ratio at 0 0.06. So that's what I'm watching here. And it's decent, okay? And the break above the wave one high would be confirmation. So what that means in dollar terms is difficult to say because this is just a chart that shows Ether and BTC in comparison. It doesn't really give us an idea about the dollar values, but it seems like the USD charts also suggest that Ether has taken the lead, but let's see where it takes us. So at the moment, there is a potential on this chart. It's getting more and more serious and ideally now it's going, okay? Maybe after another pullback, but it needs to hold 0.053. So that gives you a good idea about ETH BTC. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.